Okay, so we're looking at our procedures for the thermal decomposition of sodium bicarbonate. I'm going to kind of go through the things that you should be paying attention to, uh, making sure of, and so forth. So our first step is to measure the mass of a clean, dry beaker using an electronic scale. First, make sure that your scale is in grams. You do not want to make sure that it's not in ounces or something like that. So make sure that it is in grams. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it on the scale. Obviously, uh, record that mass in the data table, as it says in number two. Then step three, zero out the scale. So I'll go ahead and zero it out. And I'm going to slowly add one gram of sodium bicarbonate to the beaker. So always want to make sure that you are paying attention to what's around you, your workspace. You don't want to spill. And you just want to slowly add it in there until you get about one gram. Now, if it's slightly more or slightly yet let you less, that's okay. I got it to 1.00 grams, so that's good. If you've got a slightly different value, 1.01 1 or 99.8 or sorry, 9.98 or something like that, make sure that you record that mass. Make sure you record that mass in uh, your data table. Sorry, now that's by my procedures. Again, record the exact mass of the sodium bicarbonate in the data table. Now we're going to take the sodium bicarbonate, we're going to place it on our hot plate, and we're going to turn it up as high as it can go. Now keep in mind, that hot plate is going to get very hot. The beaker is going to get very hot. Make sure that you're wearing your safety goggles. All right, now we are going to stir this. We want to break up the clumps, keep it moving, keep it stirring. It's going to heat up, and we're going to keep an eye on the clock. We're going to let that run for about five minutes. All right, so we're stirring it. So again, now it's on the beaker. We're using, use a metal spatula. Keep it stirring. Keep it moving. Break up the clumps. And as it heats up, it's going to begin going through that chemical reaction. We'll go ahead and speed up time real quick here. All right, so it's been about five minutes, so now I want to go ahead and remove this from here. Notice I'm using a pair of tongs. I'm not going to use my fingers. It's going to be very, very hot. Zero out the balance and measure the mass of the beaker and the white powder inside. I'm going to record that mass right here on, in my procedures. So that's going to go right here in my procedures. Then I'm going to take that beaker, I'm going to then return it to the hot plate and continue stirring and breaking up clumps for an additional three minutes. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get all of that sodium bicarbonate to go through that chemical reaction. I want all of that to go through that reaction. So I'm continuing stirring. Let's pause time here for a minute. Okay, so it's been three minutes. I've been stirring. It's broken up. Uh, the more of the reaction has taken place, I'm going to, again, zero out my balance and measure the mass of the powder and the, uh, the glass again. I will record that in this space provided on the lab right here. If these two values are the same, I'm done. I can go ahead and record that as the final mass of the beaker and sodium bicarbonate. If not, I will repeat these steps, 9 through 12, which we just did. I would return it back to the um, hot plate, stir it for another three minutes, and then put it back on the, uh, the scale until I got two masses that were basically the same, or that were exactly the same. And what I'm trying to accomplish there is to make sure that all of the sodium bicarbonate has gone through that chemical reaction. And that's it, that's the decomposition, sorry, the thermal decomposition of sodium bicarbonate.